Let me first start off by saying that we live in a society of lies. We are dishonest. Unless it's done anonymously, we do not really state how we feel about a variety of subjects, a wide variety of subjects. We instead say things that are socially acceptable. And once people practice that enough, they convince themselves that they no longer hold those socially unacceptable opinions. It's like when people claim that they are 100% not racist, or sexist, or something else that ends in ist or phobic. It's a lie. Even being polite is often lying. But it's very important in society to keep the peace. At least, if we are in a high-trust society. Unfortunately, it's becoming more and more common to... I mean, it's, it seems like we're headed in a, in a direction of being a low-trust society in the future. Having said that, someone having little to no impulse control and perpetually feeling disrespected all the time, usually while offering no respect in return, is a recipe for a violent person. It is a recipe for a criminal. Some cultures actually encourage this type of behavior and attitude, claiming that it's just being more real to their emotions, more real to how they really feel about anything. Just the notion that it's being more real. And as that may be true, that it is indeed more real to their emotions. And it's less dishonest about things that the general public tends to lie about. As well as being more dishonest about something you'd expect a 7 to 10 year old to lie about. Yeah, that attitude and mindset is really not compatible with Western civilization. Again, we live in a society of lies. We put up a front and maneuver through society with that front. We're not trying to portray ourselves as being ready for a fight. We're not trying to be badass. We're not trying to be genuinely toxically masculine. We're usually trying to be reasonable. And sometimes we fail. So sometimes we feel we have to put up a front as if we are reasonable even if we're not. Is that how things should be? Probably not. But it's how we function. Just going with your instant gut emotions all the time because you have very little impulse control and you're always ready for a fight, it is likely to land you in prison in places such as the United States. If you are part of a culture that encourages this sort of thing, yes, the cards are stacked against you. No, it actually has nothing to do with the color of your skin. It has nothing to do with race or very, very little to do with race. It has nothing to do with your gender. It has to do with a culture that encourages having little to no impulse control and constantly and, you know, perpetually feeling disrespected while usually offering no respect in return. Fix that part of your culture if you happen to be part of that culture and you'll thrive like everyone else does. Just saying.